Hey, this is Matt once again. Welcome back to another video. There's another paid request this time for Jonathan. Thank you so much for that. And for those interested in requesting any type of videos or topics, reviews, video game stuff, comparisons, commentaries, whatever the case may be, PayPal is usually the best bet. Or you join my Patreon. Both links are down below in the info box. I also do have a cash app. Because I keep mentioning because some people have asked. Believe it or not, some people have asked. So, yes, I do have that. But this is on The Ring 2 from 2005. And I've seen this film before. But it's been a while. I forgot how shitty this film is. I know it's not going to make sense now. But what this reminds me of, if I learn how to talk, was a bad version of West Ham's New Nightmare. And I like West Dream's New Nightmare quite a bit. I think that's a really good film. Some spotty effects in the third act, but a really good movie. Just if you replace the little girl with Freddy Krueger. I'm like, you know what? I saw this done better in New Nightmare. I'm like, no wonder this seemed a bit familiar. Now, I like the first The Ring. The, the remake, I should say, by Gore Verbinski. Which by this time he was busy doing Pirates of the Caribbean films, so he didn't come out to direct. But I do like that. Rend you, it is what it is. Take it or leave it. But The Ring, I, I like Gore Verbinski's style. Naomi Watts did a wonderful job acting. Uh, the look of the film, the color scheme of the film, the, the way the tape related to the mystery now throughout the film. These pieces of the mystery Naomi Watts would see that relates to the tape. And okay, that's why the image was in the tape. Because of this here that happens. It, I think it got the viewer a bit involved in the situation. Here you have the director of the original Rendu coming back. And the thing I always remember about this film is the damn CGI deer. The fucking CGI deer. Which is... Just as awful as I remember it. Why if they looked at that and they said, go with it. I would have cut the entire scene out. Plus it's a little over two hours, so it's not like we would have missed it. If you cut the damn scene out. It's like the dumbest scene in the fucking movie. But it's so dumb, you'll remember it. So, it's the most memorable scene in the movie, Sally. Sorry for that pause, but <sighs> you look at that, you go, someone actually sat there and said, yep, I approve. What? So, it takes place months, or is it years? I forget how long it takes place after. But... It takes place sometime after the first movie. Naomi Watts and her son have moved to a new place. Naomi's gotten a new job. Her boss is Simon Baker, and I recognize this guy. He's from Land of the Dead. He's the star of the film Land of the Dead, which came out around, I think, the same year as this. And it's like they try to do a bit of a love story, but it doesn't really do anything or go anywhere. One thing leads to another, Samara... The little bitch in the well is back, and she wants to possess the kid. Because now the little girl wants a mommy. I'm like, did these people not see the first movie? That wasn't the shit that was happening. But wait, I'm getting ahead of myself. I gotta talk about the opening of the film, which is hilarious. Because you have this guy who's got the videotape. He's trying to get this girl to watch it. Now, for some dumbass reason, this guy waited until there were two minutes left of the seven days. Not two days. Not even two hours. Two minutes. Why? Why are you waiting till last two goddamn minutes? He's like, oh, I got this horror film. You need to watch it now! <laughs> 
Because the girl's like, well, you never even paid attention to me, this and that. Well, you know, just watch this. It's a nice scary film. He doesn't put the tape in. He doesn't pop it in. <sighs> Nothing of that nature. He just assumes she's going to do it, walks in, and then he's staring at the clock. Just come on. Put in the tape. Put in the goddamn tape. <laughs> so he comes back. And of course she didn't watch it because she was scared. And then it's like, oh no. Looks at the TV. He gets turned to the face pretzel. <laughs> and... Faithfully, this happened in the same fucking town that Naomi Watts and her kid moved to. How convenient that was. Go fucking figure. Of all the country, of the, or the world, or you know, just the United States, it happens in this one town Naomi Watts and her kid moved to. Because then she hears about it. Oh my god, that dead body looks like you know, what I've seen before. And then Samara comes out of the body bag and steers Naomi Watts. Why? I thought Samara can only do that if you watch the tape. And Na Naomi Watts has not watched the tape for months. Like, things have been fine for months. Months. But because she's near the presence of Samara now she just pop out of the fucking body bag and just scare her but then not do anything and then she sees that but yet it takes her fucking forever to figure out man my son's sick he's acting weird why is he acting so weird I just saw a dead body because of the the little well bitch I just saw the bitch come out of the body bag but my son is sick for some reason yeah, I fucking wonder why he's constipated. He had too many fucking Dunkin' Donuts. He got food poisoning. What the fuck do you think, lady? Now, Naomi Watts is doing the best she can. I actually think she gives a rather decent performance. I do think she's a good actress. She's given a shitty script and a shitty story to work with. That... It's kind of like how people thought of Diamond Street Part 2 for his revenge, where you're going, well, wait a minute, are the rules just thrown out the window? But at least Elm Street 2... For the most part, it was still in dreams. And through the dreams, he's, he's starting to possess... You got the idea that he was starting to possess Jesse for a while through the dreams and stuff and the more he possesses them then he's able to use them to affect the outside world and yet Freddy Krueger like Robert Ingham doing a great job and you have better dialogue you've got the body I've got the brain you had better musical score I just thought it was done better than this It didn't have a scene with a bunch of fucking CGI deer. But we're not there yet. By the way, there's no guilt from Naomi Watts of making this tape. You know at the end of the first movie? Where you gotta make a copy. And you gotta have someone watch the copy. And the son even asks, who would want to show this to? Now that question is never answered. Who did they show it to? That's never answered. You would think that'd be like... Okay, we only made one copy. Okay, now we're going to get into who did she show the tape to? Was it a criminal? Was it someone who was a convicted tid toucher? Who was it? We never know. We still don't know. So, again, who did she show it to? And there's no sense of guilt. This person died, but I had to save my son. There's none of that. 
there's none of that conversation, there's none of that discussion, there's none of that... You think that would be good for, like, character development, character art, character depth for Naomi Watts? Zero in the movie. Why? Because the strip fucking sucks. Or they forgot to see the first fucking movie. Who did you show the tape to? So then Naomi Watts goes back to this dead kid's place. I find it funny that, okay, if cops, ambulance, everything saw this kid who was dead in this weird way, <laughs> cops would still be at that house. They'd be investigating the place. Dot the I's, cross the T's. Is it a chemical thing? Was it, was it some type of murder? Who, what, when, how? There's not even police tape. At this fucking place. So she just, walk, she just walks in. Grabs the tape. Burns it. Isn't burning useless? I thought you couldn't burn the, the tape. It's funny though. She burns it. And then the tape cries. <laughs> Why is the tape crying? Why is the video tape crying? I thought it was pointless to burn the tape. And it's crying like a bitch in heat. It tries when it's burned. How did you burn? How did you burn? As Samaris possessing her son. How is she possessing her son? When I thought the rules were you had to watch the tape? I guess they're trying to make it seem like somehow in the first movie there was some kind of psychic bond, but nothing has happened for months until now. But why now? Like, the kid didn't watch the tape. The kid wasn't near the tape. The kid didn't see the tape. It just... Because don't fucking think about it. That's why. It's the fucking said. So they go to a fair. And she leaves the kid alone. Just, she's a shitty mother. And the boy goes to a bathroom taking pictures and there's Samara I guess that's where you get the idea that she fully possesses him by the way the, the, the scene wasn't scary I got more steer pissing in a toilet hoping not to miss the fucking lid and hit the lid hoping not to miss the fucking center I was more steered in suspense held in suspense of that a piss in the right way than watching this fucking movie. And that's about when you get them driving home and you get the CGI deer scene. Where even the kid goes, keep driving, keep driving, keep driving, and she just sits there. Duh. What? What do you say? And the CGI deers is attacked in the shit. I'm like, what the fuck is goddamn Bambi's army? CGI Bambi army attacking the shit. Where's Thumper, Dumper, and Humper at? Where's Humper think at? What the fuck is all this shit? Why did you think a CGI deer attack would be scary? I guess, it, what, are they trying to think of like the omen... Where you had animal attacks, and but those were done with actual animals. Say so that they look a bit better, just a bit better. Not a goddamn cartoon. Ready for the Roadrunner to come in. Fucking stupid. And you're still waiting for how the fuck long is it going to take for Naomi Watts to put her two cents to figure out. Oh, Samara must be doing some shit. You just saw her come out of a body bag. Some time ago. I mean, you say he's trying to be different, like Nightmare Street Part 2 for his revenge. And the reason it makes me think of West Dreams do Nightmare is you have the mother trying to take care of her son. Her son is going through all this possession. There's even a point where the son gets put into a hospital and you have this person thinking the mom did it. Just like the one girl that thought Heather Lane Camp is the Ron. She's in the Ron. She's hurting the boy. 
the psychiatrist think Naomi Watts is hurting the boy and the mother trying to do anything to get her son out of the situation and deal with this villain it's not free recruiter Samara but what's the do Nightmare was just better directed better written and yeah there's some spotty effects in the third app but still better than any of the CGI deer shit in this I don't mind Naomi Watts acting the little boy I think what he was given he did the best he could I liked him in the first movie he does what he can in this movie so they're not the problem there's some decent looking shots there's a bit where Naomi Watts goes to the bathroom and there's her son in the tub and you see this water casting to the ceiling and she grabs it and you see all the water collapse down that's a cool looking shot one of the few cool looking shots in the movie definitely helps in the trailers and the marketing but few and far in between in this over two hour movie we're now looking if it made sense and by the way did they forget in the first movie that at the end of the film Samara she wanted to be evil oh we've released her spirit why did you do that you should have done that and Samara wanted to kill she wanted to destroy that's what her purpose was not that she wants a fucking mom like that just came out of nowhere like an RKO and it's like then people didn't watch the first fucking movie and then Sissy Spacek from Carrie is in this as the actual mother of Samara that probably she tried to drown at one point but she's down in the psychiatric, psychiatric hospital mental hospital and she just says, listen to your kid, listen to your baby. Oh, by this point, Simon Baker's been killed. That tear did not need to be in the film. It just, it led to nowhere, it led to nothing. And, okay, let me, I gotta give this kid a sleeping pill, because apparently if you're a spirit, you can still be affected by sleeping pills. I just kids of the body you're in, okay? And then the boy and the cause they're dreaming. Speaker West Razor Diver, they're dreaming. And the boy says, You need to kill me. I'm like, I was telling you don't be worth it. You're you're gonna be dead. And the mom ain't gonna do that. But the idea is that to make it seem like he's gonna die by drowning so that Samara will escape, but the boy will be free. And then bring the boy back to life. Which she does. And then the ending just felt really anticlimactic. It was. Come take me. She's pulling to the. VHS world. What the hell you want to put it. They're in a well. She climbs up. Samara's climbing after her. She gets out. Pushes the lid of the well. The end. She's, she escapes back to the real world. Which again, makes me think what's crazy to do Nightmare. What the... What was the Hansel and Gretel? The, the Crumbs? They go to another... Well, they both go in that one. And then they get back to the real world. Just like here. Only this is the... Anyway. I'm like, that's it? That's all it took? Closes lid? That's all it took. Shit, that seemed easy. That seemed easy enough. Okay. I mean, I'll give credit that there's an ending. There's no... There's not really any big, like, sequel bait. Gotcha, bitch. You know, that type of ending. I'll give credit that there's an actual ending. And you could say a happy ending. But if that's all it took you... This is very simple to fucking do. So, it, I don't know. But just... It disregards a lot of the rules of the first movie. And it's really not that entertaining. It's not that scary. It's not creepy. I don't even know what was supposed to be creepy in the movie. Samara, you see her more. Which makes her 
less interesting in a weird way. Naomi Watts and the kid are doing the best they can, but they're given a drivel of a strip. The love story with Simon Baker was useless, unneeded, uninteresting. The CGI deer scenes were fucking laughable. The movie was way too over long. The first movie's long as well, but the in, the mystery entry was a bit more intriguing to pull the viewer along. It's not really any intrigue in this. The, what mystery is we supposed to be solving? That now Samara wants a mom for some reason, which was never apparent in the first one. And then again, ending this, like I said, a bit anticlimactic. So it's just a lame-ass sequel, lame-ass movie. I mean, yeah, I can appreciate that if you don't like the bummer ending of the first one, this, I guess, gives you a happy ending. Not all sequels do that, so... If, you know, I like Naomi Watts and the kids, so... This gave him a happy ending? Cool. Again, it's still strange you don't have any of the guilt of you... You put this tape to someone. So does that mean if she's trapped, that means the... I guess the... The tape doesn't work anymore, I guess? I did. why did Samara come affect the... I guess... I guess she had a bond with the kid, but it didn't work for the past couple months. I didn't... I don't know. I'm I'm doing a headache. Fuck it. The movie sucks, and the CGI deer sucks. Later.